Yes, we want to serve you some tea as you have tea. <laughs> nice, tea. I like that. With this very beautiful lady here. No, Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah told, uh, told this comedian, I don't remember her name, this lady comedian, that Trevor Noah said he'd always wondered how the sun looks, would look like as a person. And then he met her. And then I feel like the same for you. Like, if the sun were a person, it would be Jasmine. I have nothing to say about that. But for you, it's pretty. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mona. wanting to do for the longest time ever. I think it's been a few years in the making, but thanks to 2020, thanks to Rona, thanks to the time, the, like this period of, of time that you've had, finally, we're doing we're it. We're here. Yes, we're doing it. It's going down. Yeah. So this is my wonderful partner. I want to say your name and tell us who you are and what you do. Well, my yeah. name is Jasmine, mm -hmm. Elizabeth mm -hmm. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Karaoke. <laughs> you just had to add that in. Karaoke. Mm -hmm. And karaoke is my dad. Njoki. Who is Njoki? Moriu. <laughs> Do you see this meme about how mm -hmm. Kikui ladies introduce themselves? Mm -hmm. My name is Wanjiko Karaoke. And karaoke is my dad, not my husband. Hey, can you give a party moduli? Can you give a party moduli? Yeah, so yeah, my name is Jasmine. Um, what am I? Who am I? What do I do? Um, yes, who are you? Um, assume this is an interview. Mm -hmm. What? Tell us who you are. Excuse me. Yes, yes. Be exhausted, my you friend. You know, that's, that's like the hardest question, I think, in an interview. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to put myself through that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my name is Jasmine, again. Um, I'm a writer. I'm a content creator. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of background in information management. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and now I think we're going to get a new title. You've been, working, you've been working in media as well, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, have, I, have, mm -hmm. I have. I have been yeah, working yeah. in media. You're a media person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I was saying, I think we're going to get a new title. Is podcaster a thing? I don't know. Content creator, I think you said that. Yeah. Yes, with you. I think oh, you're... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm a podcaster. Is that even a word? I don't think it's a word. But <laughs> yeah. no, it could be a word very soon. It could. Apparently, I'm told, mm -hmm. irregardless is now in the dictionary. It is? Yes. That's hard for... Apparently. It shouldn't so, be. So, Munye, to Amashati, the word is in the dictionary finally. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. So that's that's who I am. Uh -huh. I love having meaningful, beautiful, deep conversations mm -hmm. um, with this guy here, mm -hmm. um, and with other people basically. And I think that's um, the main reason why we started this. We want to talk. Uh, we want you to hear us, and we want to hear you as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, welcome to DC and Jazz, and let, let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What has Aventi told us? Yeah. Is there anything else interesting? How tall are you? Bro, I'm 5'3". <laughs> and I'm still growing. Ah, but you can stand up for yourself. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. Short people, I don't... It's not me who said that. How tall are you? I mean, as long as you look up to me, I'm okay. Comfortable. Um, like, you said, you actually do look up to me. And then, of course... No, but... Yeah, but yeah. So I'm, I'm DC, Anthony Mutua. Yeah. I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mori is going to explain later why Mori. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but but Mori is also another name. Some people gave me. But yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher. Taught for a couple of years. I'm a teacher of English actually. Um, so, why is it wrong to say English teacher? Ah, uh, well, the whole discussion about it apparently. Not to be under too pressure. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, I'm a teacher, I'm also a content creator, now a blogger. I didn't know I could blog, but again, Corona. Let's talk of the gifts of Corona. Uh, it's around April, I started a, a blog. 
and then I started posting mostly self-improvement articles. This is mutual.com. You could go check it out. I think we put the link in the what, what do you call it? The description. description. Yeah. Feels good to see that. Man had to right? we yeah. word even. So we're going to put some of the links there. So you can go and check it out. Probably down down below. That's what they say. Yeah, there, there could be something for you there. Mm. And, and, and I hope uh, you could get something and share with your friends. When you taking tea now in blue, yeah? Man, I I I will talk to us at Chini. We know you we know your ways. I know you just want to use this cover. It's okay. You have you have a good time. Enjoy yourself, my friend. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, we had we I sit down. And we had a conversation. We thought we want to um, create a platform where we are going to share stories that can actually inspire people, stories of everyday people. Mm. We wanted to do to do um, like like uh, human interest stories, uh, and, and we find everyday people just like you and me who have like wonderful stories that can inspire other people. Stories about resilience, stories about overcoming, people who had to overcome like all and all those things. Mm. And that's when then uh, I think I remember this quote by Chadwick Bosman, our beloved Chadwick Bosman. Our, yeah, uh, our hero, yeah. Mm. He said something in one of the interviews, he said that everybody's a hero in their own story. So we thought of um, creating a platform where we can find people with these amazing stories. Basically, it could be any everybody when you think about it. But you're going to find a way of just drawing these stories from people and then sharing them with like other people, especially young people, to motivate, to inspire, um, to like give you another perspective of thinking about things. So sometimes because like we said, uh, we tend to think that miserable, I mean, I mean that misery is, 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 is uh, like you're the only one who's going through it. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you imagine when you're going through something difficult, mm -hmm. you imagine you could be the only, the only one going through that, yeah. that particular time. Mm -hmm. And if you if you get to a point where you, you find mm -hmm. that even other people are going through the same thing, mm -hmm. and sometimes actually they are going even through worse times. Mm -hmm. So when you get to hear that, mm -hmm. probably from us mm -hmm. or even from other people, mm -hmm. then you become probably a little bit more encouraged. Mm -hmm. You get to have more hope. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it just feels it feels good to know that someone else is going through what you're going through or has been through it and ha has overcome. And you're also going to overcome. So I think that's that's basically what we are doing. We I think we came to, to a place where we found out that we we have some really nice and meaningful why me hey Jesus. So why meaningful why, why, why? meaningful <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. Meaningful <laughs> Yes uh, The karaoke has just come out. <laughs> 